up YouTube? You already know what it is. It's your girl Alexis and I am back once again with another video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make, if you guys are into gymnastics or cheerleading or whatever that includes flipping and all that and tumbling, then this is what the video you need to watch. I'm about to make a DIY beam out of uh, just a regular old mat. Um, my gymnastic mat that I got uh, maybe a couple months ago. Very cool, very good. Uh huh. So yeah. Um, follow me on Vine, um, Musically, and yeah, follow me on Vine and Musically, my social medias, my two social medias. Um, and please subscribe, please, please subscribe, pretty please. Um, hit that big red button down below that says subscribe, and hit that thumbs up button. Man, let's get it, man, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. So what you're gonna need is a roll of tape. Um, I use regular tape. I would use duct tape because then it'll just rip up all my mat. Uh, it'll rip up my mat. Um, so green. I have green tape here because I love Spartans. Um, a sharpie here. And this is optional, but I have scissors to help me cut better. And say hello to my kitten, BB. Uh, we got her about four, three weeks, three, four weeks ago, and she is very used to me. But the only bad thing is, well, not bad, but she bites, and she loves to bite hard. And then also she has these sharp claws that just scratch, but soon we're going to get her declawed, if you don't know what that means. They're, we're going to have to have surgery on her, and they're going to have to do surgery on her and take her claws out of her paws. So, yeah. So back with the video. Um, so you're gonna need these utensils: a marker or a sharpie, a tape roll or something, and then optional scissors. So yeah. And if you hear stuff in the background, that's my mom because we just had breakfast. I know it's a little late for breakfast, but we just had breakfast, and someone's mowing the lawn outside. I think it's my mom's boyfriend. Yeah, he's here and he's mowing the lawn, I believe. So yeah. So let's get on with the video. Oh yeah, and also you're gonna need a mat. I have my mat here, that's my house shoes. I have my mat here. I'm about to pull it up for you and right now. All right guys, so I'm back. Um, I moved to a different area because I needed a bigger space. Don't mind all my stuff back there. That's all my belongings. And then some of my sister's belongings over there because we share rooms. Then um, BB's cat stuff. This is kind of like her area in the front, but I'm taking over it for right now. So you're gonna need your mat. I have my mat from Justice. It says, "Be your best." I mean, it's a little dirty because it's a little old. And I played with it outside and all that. BB, stop it! Give me my scissors. Okay, so yeah. So I'm sitting on the mat right now. I'm not, I forgot, I know though, but I forgot, I know it's in the back of my mind or something, but I know how long this is, I just, I don't think I can, I don't think I can think it right now, so I need maybe a little time to think, maybe I'll give you guys it, if it pops up back in my mind, on how long it is, and how big it is, and how wide it is, but yeah, so you're going to need your mat, there's two different ways I'm going to show you guys this, so, hey, stop it, so, um, you can either roll it, because I want mine to be four inches because I like to make it look like I'm a real gymnast and stuff like that. I'm in a real gym. So I'm actually going to go get my yardstick. I know it's a little bit big because if I don't bring back a yardstick, I'm going to bring back a roller, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back. I have my yardstick instead of my roller. If you hear... That little one back there, she's playing with one of her toys. I may just take it because it's really loud and you guys won't be able to hear me. But yeah, so I'm just going to close the door, actually. Come. Alright, I'll let her play with it. But I have my yardstick here, and I like to make sure it's at least four inches. I do not like it anymore. I do not like it maybe any less. I will only bring it above if because like i have foot problems or something like that or like anything 
and I just want to practice. I'm not trying to make it real. So I actually just like to roll it up. You can do this with any kind of mat. You can do it with a yoga mat. You can do it with a carpet mat. But you don't want to do it with the like towel because that's just not going to work unless you can do it. And it's like a really good towel. But I like to fold it up for you. Roll it. Roll it. Let's see how long this is. Watch out, Phoebe. You're in the way. Phoebe, move. Alright, so this is about maybe a little bit more just six inches, so I need to roll it tighter. That's about uh, four inches, perfect. roll it like that and make it like an actual little bit higher beam or you can just do it on the back it does not really matter to me it doesn't really care i don't know <laughs> it doesn't i don't really care it's just whatever works best for you oh that's just about five inches that's not gonna work i'm gonna make it a little bit higher all I do not know how to listen. Alright. Just about four and a half inches. That should work. Alright, so I'm going to try to ease my way through this. So I got my tape here. And I'm going to roll it up. Roll it up. Ah, ah, ah. I know this video is a little long. but Alright, so you guys want me to cut it. Um guys are gonna cut it so i'll be right back with you guys i'm gonna wrap it up i'm gonna wrap this up with the tape so it can say so i'll be right back <sighs> all right guys so i made the first beam here it is four inches wide i forgot how long but so i roll it up and i tape it on both ends i don't really necessarily like this kind because sometimes it'll move when I'm trying to turn like that. Or sometimes it will eat like the tape will be stingy and just come off and rip off and then sometimes tear off a piece of my mat. So I like to do this kind when I'm doing like when I'm actually pretending like when I'm actually trying to because sometimes I'll host shows and do gymnastics uh, meets, stuff like that. And I'll just do some gymnastic skills to make sure my skills are up level. So this is a really good beam if you're trying to make it actually seem real. If you know what I mean. Okay. So now I'm going to go with the second beam. You're still going to need the same utensils. It's just maybe a little less, well actually a little bit more tape. But if you don't have a lot of tape then don't do this so now i'm just gonna rip actually the scissors are for to rip this off not rip it off let kind of take it off if it's very hard to take this off so that's what the scissors are for unless you have like duct tape or something and it's very hard to like get unstitched so that side's lifts this side's gonna cut off and this beam is for a person that does not have their skills all together. So you want to open the mat. You can do it on the front side or the back side. I like to do it on the back side because I don't like to rip off my weight on the front on the front side. So I'm gonna kind of skip along while you guys are watching. So. You're going to need as much tape as you can get. Well, not as much tape as you can get. But you want to open it up. You want to make sure it's straight and flat. And I'm about to do this. So, I got my tape. 
You're going to need a long piece. You're going to need as long as your mat is. Or whatever you have. Make this. Okay, this is getting long already. This is getting way too long for me. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to start to place it. So. Alright. And you want it to be bow inches. Cook it. I'm going to put this on to the side, kind of, so I can put the other long piece. Maybe if you don't move off my mat, I'm going to put the other, so the other piece on the other side of the piece of tape. And you want to make sure this piece of tape is straight. You really want to make sure it's straight. So you want to kind of go with it to make sure it's pretty straight. Down the... Yeah! Mom's calling me. Hold on. Stop it. Okay. Move back. I mean, move, baby. All right. So this is not long enough, obviously. I'm gonna need a little bit more tape. Perfectly fine. Move. Okay. Okay. Now I need a little bit more tape to kind of go down. So I'm going to pause you guys so it doesn't take forever and I don't have a video over 15 minutes. So hold on. Alright guys, so I'm done. Uh, thanks for waiting. Thanks for being so patient. It took me like maybe 5 to 10 minutes. I've been having you guys pause for that last 5-10 minutes. So, I'm done. This is a long stick of tape down and this is for people who don't have skill they don't have their skills yet but they are getting very close oops i just realized this is a little bit cricket so i'm gonna peel this up hold on one moment guys all right guys so i'm done with my mat just had to move a little bit because it was cricket but you're also really gonna want to like put tape on the edges just so that you can stay down but this mat is this kind of beam is perfect for if they have their flip, but they don't have it quite yet really good. And they're still basically practicing on the floor and they won't get hurt. But this is really good for someone who's really practicing their flip. And then also it can be a regular mat too, just in case you have your regular flips on it. And that on the beam. Um, and this doesn't move as much as the other beam tied up. But this beam is really good, and it's also, it's actually basically a combination of a mat and a beam. So this thing is really good, and actually maybe for my next YouTube video, I may, I may, just may, make a YouTube video about all my flips that I know how to do, so I'll do it on here. So yeah, so, please, guys subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for watching please give it a big thumbs up and again subscribe to my channel and please share this video so i can get more subscribers and you guys will have more fun with your life on youtube so yeah give this video some big thumbs up and i'll see you guys later bye kisses